She's waiting for the hummingbirds to fly by Sitting peacefully in the morning light Asking nothing in return She's waiting for the hummingbirds to fly by with a most beautiful smile What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of SC Outdoors. Um, today we are back on the Smalley Grind. Um, I'm fishing a Central PA Creek. Um, there's not a whole lot of holding water in many places I know of, but there's some big fish in spots that I do know. Um, I am fishing, I'm starting out at this one spot that I know has a couple good runs, deep runs. Um, a trout stream comes in, a, a spring creek, so maybe a chance to catch a trout with that. Um, but I don't know, we'll see. I'm just kind of kind of bounce around today. Um, I may even end up just trout fishing today. Uh, we'll see. But uh, weather-wise, it's about 70 degrees now, high of 83. It's going to be a really nice day, so looking forward to it. I'm going to show you guys my setup, and then we're just going to get to fishing. All right, guys, just to uh, show you kind of lay of the land, it's, you know, mid-sized creek. Um, like I said, does hold some nice smallies, but I'm not expecting much. I really just want to catch fish, um, being that I'm fairly new with fly fishing for smallmouth. Um, just anything would be good um, I'll even take multi-species whatever I can get um, so I'm starting out I bought this uh, Helgramite fly I hear Creek Smallies like it a lot um, I tried it in my last video if I did end up posting I'm not sure if I did but caught me a lot of panfish things like that but it's a size 8 um, and then I have another size 8 but it's a woolly bugger um, trailing so we'll see um, I may go bigger. I have some cra uh, some crayfish flies. I have uh, some bigger buggers, some streamers. So we'll test out some things and you know see what we can do. Hopefully we can catch some fish. Ah, shoot, had him on for a second, it was just a smaller, smaller bass, but would have been a bass, shoot, can't believe I missed that bite, I didn't even really feel it, he just started running, Ooh, he's on, that is not a bass though, that's a rock bass. I just should say it wasn't a smallmouth. Well, we'll take it. We're on the board. There we go, a little, little rock bass. Had a couple smallmouth in this pocket here. Just kind of follow this and miss it. I was trying something more on the bottom, but was getting stuck a lot, so just switched back to this again. I know that there's some bass in here. I've seen them. Oh, there we go. That was cool. That's a good bass. Way better of a bass than I thought was in there. I'm just gonna let him go. I had some sunfish and stuff whiffing at it, but this is a decent bass. It'll be a minute. Oh. All right, buddy. He's a 
about done. Let's go. Chunky fish. I'll take him. Like I said, this is my biggest bass on the fly. He's not a monster. Kind of shows me what it'll be like if I do get a monster, but probably about a two and a half pound bass. So cool. Off he goes. Awesome fight. I think I might be screwed if I hook a, fi hook a five pounder though. Ah, shoot, it's an awful hook set, man. Ah, it's drifting it down this current and it's a bass too, I saw him. There's a fish. That's uh, a small mouth, but it's it's little. But it is a bass. He's got about five others his size chasing him. Well, there he is, just a little bass, but hey, we will take him. All right, guys, so just a quick update on things. Um, I caught another smallie on the woolly bugger. It wasn't recording, so I'm a little pissed at myself for that. Um, but I'm going to walk back upstream. I'm at the kind of the end of the uh, any sort of depth to this creek, any runs, anything like that. Other than that, it just becomes really flat. Um, fish are pretty scattered. But... I'm gonna try to nymph my way up. I, I ordered some some smallmouth nymphs apparently. Um, I have no idea how well these are gonna work, but I've got this unweighted Helgramite, um, is what it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna throw that, that's on top, and then I cannot for the life of me remember what kind of fly this is, or what it, this is supposed to imitate, but it was uh, listed as a uh, smallie fly. Um, I have some bigger ones that are like mayfly nymphs and things like that, but they're just too heavy, I think. This creek just, it doesn't get much depth and there's a lot of jagged rock and things like that. It's just easy to get hung up. So I'm gonna try this lighter stuff. I just wanna catch a couple more fish before I leave, to be completely honest. Um, I'll try the bigger nymphs, probably on a, a larger body of water at some point. Um, but yeah, I don't know, maybe we can grab one or two more fish before the end of this day. There's a fish. I think it's a fall fish though. Yep, took that nymph. But that was part of the purpose of putting this on. I just wanted to catch the fish. If I get a smaller, great. There it is, small mouth. Or, oh my god, fall fish, not a small mouth. Alright guys, that is going to wrap it up for this video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, nothing spectacular catch-wise um, as far as number of catches, but I did get my biggest smallmouth on a fly, so that was pretty cool. He was probably about two and a half, three pound fish at best, but um, if I ever hook a five pounder with this rod, I am screwed um, because that fish fought really hard. Uh, next summer I will have a, a bass fly rod, but 
just uh, just for this year. I'm just going to stick with what I got. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it was a lot of fun to make. I mean, it's always good to be out fly fishing no matter what you catch. So um, if you did like it, um, you know, feel free to subscribe. I've got more stuff coming. Um, but otherwise, I will see you next time here on SC Outdoors.